Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, welcome back. I'm going to take a look at your connection with you and your person. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody, and the energies can be reversed according to your life. So if you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. So what's going on with Pisces? What is passing them? We have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. What is this person's energy towards Pisces? We have not today, not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation call or person boundaries still angry your energy towards this person is we have the chaser chaser in a codependent relationship fear of abandonment issue and in the near future girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun and in your outcome hand of cards take a chance risk being strategic, options, not showing hand, and gambling, okay? So I'm seeing that in your most recent past, or what will be passing you, um, you could have uh, broken up with somebody, or there's you could be in separation by physical or emotional distance, but I'm seeing that for... Most of you, something happened where you guys haven't really been speaking or you, you had some type of breakup. Uh, I'm hearing a short breakup for some of you. It was short-lived or it will be short-lived. Um, but I see that in the past it just wasn't the right timing with the Seven of Pentacles. I see that there was a lot of investment and time and energy that was put into this relationship or this situation and you have been waiting to see what comes out of this and to see if anything changes and I'm seeing that you're you have not wanted to you or this person have not wanted to let go of each other and wanted to take action and to think of a new strategy, think of a new plan in how to change the circumstances. <laughs> Bless me, guys. Sorry. So, what I'm seeing is that uh, there was a decision that was made. Somebody was being judged. And a decision, um, somebody found the clarity to make a decision to either uh, just break up or speak their truth about a situation, about the way that things are going, about some type of pattern that has somebody's been noticing about the other person. Um, in your person's energy, we have not today. So this person uh, could be giving you very little communication or just very immature communication. And it comes from the fact that they're still hurt and they're still upset about what happened, about this silent treatment or about this breakup um, but this doesn't change the fact that they're still wanting to communicate and they're still watching you and they're still looking looking back at the amount of time and energy that they've also put into this with you here so I am seeing that they do want to communicate but they're still angry they still want to talk to you because they still have love for you and they want to make things right but there's still this cloud of of hurt about something that was said uh, some truth that was said some harsh words or harsh truth and this cloud is still kind of lingering over this person and i'm seeing that it, it is something that will eventually lift and they do want to eventually um reconcile and find a way or make a choice in communicating and trying to balance things out here with you and I see that they want something to be done in moderation so they want to speak to you in moderation um, 
but they still think about you and they're still uh, daydreaming about you. But I'm also getting that they're still they're thinking about the good times and they're also thinking about the bad times of what recently just passed or what will be passing. So in your energy, we have the chaser. So I see that you you still want this person in your life. You feel as though this is hard work. You feel as though um, you, need to, you need to be strong. I see you being strong right now. I see you being strong um, with your confidence. And I see that you you're, there's a part of you that's still confident about the fact that this is something that can... That can move forward and you still want to put in the hard work and work on this relationship so i see that you you do want to communicate if you're not already um for some of you there could have been just been a silent treatment or right now there's just little communication or it's just not consistent um but i see that i see that for for some of you you have a fear of being abandoned and this is something that um, you have been triggered in the past. Uh, I'm seeing also that you're you're wanting you're willing to to wait for the timing to be right, and you're willing to distance yourself and um, go within and and focus on your career and your work as well here. But I also see that you're very much fixated on this person, um, and wanting to change the circumstances, wanting to get out of this period of not really talking and getting back to being persistent and working on this and um, staying strong and pushing through, enduring to get to something a long term here because you feel as though this has this person has been put in your life for a reason. You feel as though it is faded and... I am seeing though within the next few weeks we have girl talk so I see that within the next few weeks there's you're gonna find out or this person might find out that this can go one or two ways here because it's general again so within the next few weeks either you're gonna find out or this person's gonna find out that you're moving on and um, or this person's moving on or somebody is deciding to stay single instead of working on this and deciding to move on because what um, what has been offered and what has been shown is just not enough. So I'm seeing that uh, for most of you within the next few weeks, you're going to end up spending time with your friends and just living your life, being in the moment, and spending time with people around you to heal from this from this hurt and pain and to move on into a new path, into a new direction. Because there's some type of deceit or lie, or somebody was just being really manipulative, or somebody stole something. Uh, but this is something that you're going to find out about within the next few weeks here that's really going to push you towards saying you know what like I'm really done and I'm ready to move on I'm ready to uh, be happily single and look for love elsewhere or just focus on myself or focus on my finances and heal myself this way by making myself a priority and allowing things to play out the way that they do and just going with the flow instead of trying to control things. So down the line, I'm seeing that you have, uh, we have the tower. So I'm seeing that there's going to be uh, something really shocking, something that you're not going to be expecting. And it's somebody, this can be somebody from your past or this can be a soulmate that you're going to end up meeting. It's going to be a time when you're a little bit guarded or you have your walls up and um, you're focusing on yourself. I'm seeing 999, so that could be significant for some of you out there. Um, the signs that I'm seeing is Leo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Okay, so... 
I see that there is somebody here who is very mature down the line who you're going to end up meeting, who's going to be there to pursue you. And there's going to be a lot of surprises. So something really surprising is going to come out of this. Um, this person's really going to surprise you. And it's going to, you're, I feel like for, for some of you, nine, nine weeks in or nine months in, you might end up meeting this person or finding out that um, this person that you have been closing your heart off to is actually somebody who is really, really mature and willing to, to pursue you and wanting something serious and wanting to focus on commitment with you. So I'm seeing a huge change that you're moving towards and it's, it's the storm before the calm. So I see that you're moving to a direction where there's going to be a lot of people coming into your life that are going to surprise you, a lot of options, and there's going to be a need for uh, something to change, somebody to end up taking a chance uh, on a situation, somebody coming in from the past possibly to um, take a leap of faith and to mature and grow and for some of you, this is going to be a surprise, a surprise relationship, a surprise engagement or wedding or even uh, possibly children for some of you with the Six of Cups here. But whatever it is, you're, you're having options and you're moving into a place of just focusing on yourself, being happily single, hanging out with friends and just being okay with, with again, fun times, having really good times with yourself and your uh, friends or family and focusing on your finances. Somebody in the past um, could have, you things could have ended because somebody decided to focus on their finances, but I see that you are going to have a lot of options, a lot of people wanting to uh, pursue this with you, wanting to put in effort and time and date you and court you, or this could be you. But I see that you right now, you're you're still passionate about this person where things have possibly ended and you're still thinking about the good times. This person, you or this person could have some type of spiritual gift or some type of gift could have been given. But um, right now, whoever um, you're dealing with or you have dealt with right now, I see them watching you and and spying on you and wanting wanting to wanting to communicate and I do see that happening but I see that it might be short lived for some of you guys so let's get some more cards okay what else is going on with Pisces, we have listened to your intuition, so I see that something that you've been feeling is going to become really clear to you within the next few weeks about a certain situation with somebody, and I'm seeing that there's going to be a peaceful resolution within yourself, within your inner peace, within your happiness. And I'm also seeing that helpful people, you have people around you that are willing to help, willing to be there for you, willing to hear you out if you need somebody to vent to. And hanging out with friends, hanging out with family is what I see uh, mostly for you guys and just living your best life. <laughs> so that's what I'm getting for you Pisces. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if this resonated, and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation, and thank you for watching. Bye.